Welcome to the Lynn lineup where we focus on organizations and their events happening right here and around the city of Lynn and we're here today to talk about a really really cool event it's coming up December 3rd 2016 and it's called Chase the Chill Scarf Bomb it's set to happen at the corner of Liberty and Willow Street 1 30 p.m. start we're going to talk about this event how you can get involved if you want to volunteer donate or even if you need to take advantage of the services that are going to be available but first and foremost I'd love to introduce my guests we have uh, Anna Campos and Keisha Rideout, uh, Keisha, the founder of Chase the Chill, Lynn Mass, and Anna Campos, uh, the owner of Circle Stitches Yarn Shop, and a community partner of Chase the Chill right here in Lynn, Massachusetts. So I just want to pitch it over to you guys, give you an opportunity to explain who you are and how you're involved with the event. Anna? Uh, well, my name is Anna. I own Circle of Stitches, a yarn shop in Salem, Mass, and we've been a community partner of Chase the Chill. We accept yarn donations for people who want to donate yarn for charity use, and we also accept scarves and hats and you know knitted or crocheted items that we then pass on to Chase the Chill. And we've been teaching knitting and crochet classes to people who want to learn and take part in the event. And we also host knitting and crochet circles for people who want to create objects to donate. That's a solid process because, I mean, one, you've got the availability of being able to train people. Mm -hmm. At the same time, you're developing inventory for a charitable donation. So that's a really neat type of thing. And it's uh, the, the, the knit shop, too. It's not like you hear a lot about yarn shops either. So really interested to meet you, Anna. Uh, so Keisha, you're the founder of Chase the Chill in Mass. Uh, tell us a little bit about how you're involved. Uh, well, we started Chase the Chill back in last year and it has been a wonderful process. We originally saw it on television and I immediately thought this is great, this is something that would be fabulous to bring to Lynn and I mentioned it to all of my friends and they thought hey this is great and we've since come up with many wonderful volunteers um, who have joined us in the process but we focus on creating and collecting beautiful scarves, hats, gloves and then putting them in public places in an arty way so that those in need um, can help themselves without any qualifiers because people who need warm items don't always go to a place um, you know, where they could get one. Like They don't always go into a place and say, hey, I need something. Um, sometimes they're on the go and they need something and they can take it from there. Right, um, like they wake up that morning, it's yeah. a little colder than they expect. Mm -hmm. um, maybe they lost a scar from it yeah. the night before. So it's definitely, it's a beautiful gesture definitely to the community. Um, and you're, you know, what's really neat about it is it's kind of a niche, you know, um, yarn and, and knitting. It's, there's only so many people who could have the patience and the know-how how to do these types of things. So one, you're, off, you're affording people an opportunity to get better at their craft, mm -hmm. two, you're op offering an opportunity for them to give back to their community, and three, you're helping folks who need this service here in the city of Lynn, which is great, wonderful. And what's beautiful about it is that one idea turns into a bigger idea and it turns into another thing, kind of like snowball effects. Mm -hmm. So we're here today, uh, if you're just joining us, we're talking about uh, Chase the Chill Scarf Bomb. Um, so you may recognize this from last year, um, right on the corner of Liberty and Willow Street, uh, where the My Brother's Table organization is, and the uh, Lynn Emergency Shelter, they'll put scarfs and gloves and mittens and all different types of hats up on around on these trees and uh, the event is set to happen December 3rd 1 30 p.m. is when it will take off and it's going to be held at the corner of Liberty and Willow Street so Keisha this isn't the first time you guys have done this no. last year we held our first event on December 5th uh, by the time the day was over we had hung over a thousand scarves mittens hats and gloves every item had been taken by the time we left at 4 30 I think it was the final mm -hmm. time we had we had taken off um, a lot of what we had seen was people walking by um, in non-winter jackets on a very cold day who were very grateful to have a scarf or winter hat and gloves. Um, it, was, it was a beautiful experience. Um, and we are on target for recreating the same thing this year. Um, and it would be great to have, uh, if anyone wants to get involved, um, we have space for more volunteers. We have a couple of events coming up. We have an event coming up on November 3rd. We'll be meeting at Starbucks. Um, we will be tagging some of the items that we've already collected. So if you want to come down, um, help us tag some of the items. We can do that. We're also doing a small demo on how to make a quick pair of crochet mittens, like these mittens right here. It takes less than a night to make each one. Um, on November 17th, we have somebody coming in to make a 
show us how to make a one night little hat like that one close to you, Sean. This one here? Yep. Very cool. Uh, our volunteer Judy makes one of those a night. She makes us a whole bag full every year. Uh, yeah, perfect. Very <laughs> so on November 17th, we'll be at Starbucks from 7 to 9 doing that, and we'll be tagging some more items. Mm -hmm. And then on December 1st, we'll be meeting from 7 to 9. We'll be tagging the rest of our items and just planning the last particulars for our meeting on December 3rd when we meet on the street and get everything tied up, which is quite the experience. So come on down. And if you have any scarves, hats, mittens, gloves that you want to donate, you can meet us at any night on Starbucks. You can drop off at any time at Circle of Stitches at Anna Jean Shop. If you want to learn to knit or crochet so that you can help us next year, we're there for you. Please get in touch with us. Um, you can also, um, I don't know if I mentioned that you can drop off any items at the yarn shop. Right. We're there, oh, we're also at the yarn shop every Sunday in November um, from one to five if you want to come in and drop anything off or come in and meet us. Um, we're there as well. It's a really neat type of thing because you're going to be able to get a bunch of volunteers who are kind of into the same thing. Um, you know, when you do volunteering, there's a lot of organizations that can kind of just take up your time because you're planning and you're trying to come up with ideas. Um, whether you're over at the soup kitchen, you know, it's an hour worth of work and it is what it is. But this is a big project. This is a big deal. Um, when you first got into this, did you expect it to be this big of a, a project, Keisha? No, when I first got into this, I pretty much thought it was going to be me, my friend Michelle, and my friend Chrissy knitting scarves, and that we were going to meet on a street corner, and that we were going to hang them up, and we were going to high-five one another, and we were going to go home. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> surprise! <laughs> so, yeah, no, it turned out to be a lot bigger than that, and it's something that people embrace when they hear about it, and it helps that... Um, you know, we met Anna along the way, um, right after we decided to do it. Mm -hmm. um, we went looking for um, a yarn shop that we could actually have meetings in, because we, you know, love yarn and we love Anna's yarn shop once we met her. But, you know, Anna embraced it as soon as she heard about it. She had never met us before, and she's like, hey, come on down, anything, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, you just meet, you meet so many wonderful people, and Chase the Chill is a project that you don't have to devote 50 hours a year, you don't have to vote 20 hours a month. You can sit in front of your TV, make a scarf, you know, you can spend an hour a night, you know, you can spend 30 minutes a night, you can donate one scarf a year and you've made a difference. Very you know, neat. You don't have to, you know, spend a million hours a year to make a difference. You can just do what you need to do. Right. Do what you can. Do and what then you you've can. Done, yeah, then you've done something. You can't do everything, but you can do something. Definitely. And yeah. even if you can't knit or crochet, you can still help by showing up on the day yeah. of and helping to hang all the scars because Tagging. you know, yeah. a thousand pieces stuff. is Tagging. a lot of stuff to yeah. hang. So. We need help make. Oh, I should mention we need help making signs because okay. not everybody understands. Sometimes people see us hanging the scarves and they're first they're suspicious. They're like, why are they hanging scarves? <laughs> you know, you hear like little whisperings on the street corners around like. What are they doing? Are these to take? Are these to take? Why are they doing that? Is that <laughs> why? So uh, the signs help us, um, you know, explain to people, you know, if you need one, take one. We have little hang tags that we put on it, but we need some bigger signs. Yeah. We need some help making signs. Okay. Um, so there are other ways to help get in touch. And, you know, there could be somebody out there sitting there watching this who has a really good idea that we haven't thought of yet. And if you have that idea, you know, contact us and let us know. And Join yeah. the effort. Join the effort. Amen. Oh, yeah. It's really cool what you guys are doing. Um, you know, Anna being involved in, in the knitting industry, so to say, if I, if I can put it that way, yeah. um, and being able to participate in this charitable uh, cause must be really cool for you. Um, you get to meet a whole group of people. So volunteers and people who need to take advantage of the service know that these guys are making this effort to clothe the people who need to be warm uh, in the colder months in New England. We all know how that can be. So again, uh, just to recap, the details of the event uh, right at the corner of Liberty and Willow Street here in the city of Lynn at 1 30 p.m. the chase the chill scarf bomb will happen on December 3rd 2016 um, Keisha should be there Anna you'll be there um, they're looking for volunteers they're looking for volunteers to help tag they're looking for volunteers to help knit they're looking for donations so you can reach out to these guys via the social media and the information at the bottom
bottom of the screen to find out more ways to get involved, how to give back to your community too. I want to say thank you to my guests and I want to say thank you to my crew uh, from the studio here at Lynn Community Television. That's it for this episode of the Lynn Lineup. I'm Sean Donahue wishing you all the best.